we're in Nigeria, the Pan-African University. Here, we're visiting the Entrepreneurship Department, the EDC, where hundreds of students and entrepreneurs are studying how to become more successful in doing business. Uh, EDC is the Enterprise Development Center of the Pan-African University and uh, a sister institution to the Lagos Business School. We basically focus on the capacity building and the support service provision for the small and growing businesses. We also support them post-training uh, at our institution. So we stay with them uh, over you know, two, three, four, even five years in most cases. Uh, once they finish, they join the alumni uh, of, the, of, the, of the center, and then from there, they start to receive additional uh, ongoing support services from us. When they grow very big themselves, they also begin to provide some kind of services to the younger ones coming from, from behind. So it's like a big family that they continue to work together. Talk about your business a little bit, uh, so maybe like 45 seconds, and then talk about your strengths, uh, your weaknesses, how you intend to play up your weakness, your, the opportunities, how you intend to cash in on the opportunities, and the threats, and what you've thought about to mitigate those threats. But what kind of students you have here? We have entrepreneurs in this class, entrepreneurs doing different things, those in fashion, those in retail, manufacturing, services, um, brand developers, we have a lot of different, we don't have landscape artists. They realize that there's some basic skills that they need to run their business, which they didn't have. Okay, so um, over the last five months, what we've done is that we've helped them realize the importance of developing financial records. We've taught them principles and skills on how to improve customer service, how to manage their stuff better, how to plan their sales technique and their marketing channel, and all sorts of things. So they've done 10, 11 modules, including even leadership and business ethics. And will they all pass? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> Daviva is in Ghana. We know Daviva. Many students here are already active in doing business. They run their own company, but would like to learn more. I feel there's a need for me to learn to run my business properly, putting the right structures in place, keeping my books well, and also learning to um, do my business in such a way that I can easily access loan because I need to expand my business and each time I go to the bank I find out that I don't qualify. So I feel, let me come here, you know, and um, the EDC has a program where they groom entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs um, to run their businesses the right way. When I came in here, I found out that there are, need, there are some costs I'm not, in, I'm not inputting into some of the things that I'm doing. I found I'm running an NGO, so in terms of operations, there are things that I need to cost into my operations so as to make, also to make operations faster and to deliver on point. And also in terms of customer delivery, you ought to, you ought to, you ought to, the customer detects for you. You give them exactly what they want and also you don't do what you want, you, the, the market detects for you. So you look into the market before you unleash whatever product you have to unleash. If you compare it with what the demand is, it's close. So what that means is that if you continue increasing the capacity, it will come to a point where we're going to be producing more than what the market can consume. And then we'll In two to three years, you are almost guaranteed to double your turnover. That's the, the results we have seen. Now, if, and that's if you're average. For those exceptional ones, in three to four years, they could move in manners where they could multiply their turnover in excess of 10. But largely, what I found out is that we give you the basic ingredients, and it now depends on you, uh, but on the average, you are likely to succeed. Are you guys listening? Because yeah. we're yeah. Very yeah. Very yeah. Very that we, 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 need, we need to focus on differentiation by the quality of our offer and they also build it One of our, the, the flagship program that we have is, is a certificate in enterprise management. And, and that is, uh, now we've run it the 20th time. 
and not just in Lagos, but now we've moved to Abuja. And, and this program basically walks you through all the functional areas of business management, uh, from operations management, marketing, um, HR, business planning, name it. We walk you through all this. It's actually a 30-day program spread over five months. So that way, you can come to class, learn, go back to your work and practice. If you run into trouble, you come back to us, we solve it together, then you go back to class, there you go. So it's a continuous learning process and you begin to implement as, as, as you learn. One of the students who's graduated from the EDC is Niyu Ogantoyinbo, an entrepreneur who's a perfect example of how knowledge can benefit your company. Um, I did a course at the, the Enterprise Development Center. It's a course um, that specifically teaches entrepreneurs. It's called the Certificate in Entrepreneurial Management. What it does is it teaches you all the basics about starting your business, running your business, so from idea generation to basic things like the legal aspect of the business, to accounting principles and the kind of books to keep at the back end, to marketing, and then to innovation as well, to using technology as a competitive advantage. So it covers about eight, nine models, and um, it was informative. I did my course, incidentally, six years ago. In fact, I was the first class of that course. Um, I, was, I was one of the first graduates of the school in that area, and it was extremely informative. We've sent, personally, we've sent over six people there for training since then. I've recommended it to over 30 entrepreneurs. We've also gone there and I've seen the changes in the businesses as well. The more of those people that we see, the more people are motivated to, to thinking that, you know what, Perhaps entrepreneurship is very nice and, and really it, it, it gives you uh, some kind of good reward feeling, uh, much more than even the money. But it's nice to know that you are creating wealth and you are also creating jobs. <laughs>